It was early spring, after a school trip to Germany, where I had broken two of my foot bones, in a fantastic fall, by the way. <laughs> and I didn't do anything about it over there. So when I returned, the verdict came out. I had to wear this shoe. I think we can all agree. Teenagers care a lot about others' opinion. Well, that was my case, for sure. So this is how I came into one of the biggest fights I've ever had with my mom. Because obviously, she wanted my foot to heal, but I just wanted to avoid others' reactions. Today, with enough insight, I know she was right. But at that time, I'd rather keep my broken bones than wear this shoe. In the end, she had to call the doctor to convince me. And I did not want these consequences. So I started to regret. And I wore the shoe. Only had the time I should have. But don't worry. Today it's completely healed. And this whole story made me grow a lot. Hi, my name is Adele. I'm 15. And I pretty much enjoy life today. When I look around me, I might even say I'm happy. And I must just admit it. Thanks to my mom and dad. Thanks to the education they gave me. Even though I clearly do not always think that way. <laughs> but come on, seriously, raise your hand if you have never, ever complained about your parents' education. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we sometimes, well, often, complain. They are too strict, they are too old, too narrow-minded, too slow, whatever. Sometimes they don't understand us. They just don't know how to have fun anymore. I think they might have forgotten about their own early years. In my opinion, this is the most difficult mission in a whole lifetime, parenting. No school, no teacher, no concrete model to tell you what to do or how. There is not even a good or a bad way. You have to handle it all by yourself. Today, at my age, when I think I might be a mother someday, I am scared because the only things I'll be able to count on to raise my children will be my heart and my instinct. My children will then grow up, do the same thing, but their own way. Did you know that since the beginning of human race, 7,000 generations raised their children who then did the same again and again? <laughs> People often say pedagogy evolves and gets better and better. I do not share this point of view. Different is what we all are. There's no better or worse. However, throughout the time, new methods were tested. And we have the chance to rely and to be inspired by different ways of education. We are getting more open-minded. As we all know, parenting takes a huge place in our society. Because aiming at the best for their children, people question themselves a lot. And you know what? I looked it up on Amazon. And can you guess how many books about education I found on there? 100? No more. 200? Even more. 300? Well, actually, a list of 340 books came out. Can you imagine 340 books about parenting on one website? So I then did the same on cooking books. And this time, a list of 320 books came out. So this shows that there are even more ways to educate than there are to cook. And actually, there might be some similarities here, too. Both can be sometimes sweet, but can also get very spicy. <laughs> As I said, education is difficult, certainly not innate. With each new generation comes new problems to deal with. Makeup, phones, drugs, parties, etc. Sounds familiar, right? Well. Trust me or not, but they certainly weren't a big issue to the caveman parents. And even closer to us, our own parents didn't have smartphones when they were young. So no one showed them how to deal with all the social networks going on today. They had to find their way by themselves. Now take a look at this video. In 2016, a mom posted on her blog, and I quote her, I try, I fail, I try something else again and again. I thought this was a positive attitude, as we do not say it enough, 
especially in this beautiful country. But mistake is human and should be tolerated. I told you I was scared about becoming a parent someday. And I had an idea to help me when this time will come that I wanted to share with you tonight. I decided it would be a good idea to keep track of my teenage thoughts because my opinion on how my parents raised me and my two sisters cannot be fresher on my mind. So I should now write down what I want to duplicate with my own children and what I want to change because it would be such a shame not to learn from my own experience on this side of the line. So here's my letter to my future self. Dear future me, I wrote you this letter so you could remember my thoughts and ideas as a teenager. Although I hope experience and maturity will make you grow wiser and rethink these young and naive expectations, you won't forget to take into account what, yet, what I yet think are good tips. Giving the best chances to your children to be whoever they want and to be able to achieve whatever their goal in life will be. This is what I think education is for. So here is how we begin. First comes communication together with trust. You know how fundamental these ground rules are in any kind of relationship. Having your children telling you what's on their mind when they are feeling low or even their simple thoughts when they are joyful will make you feel good and keep a positive atmosphere for sure. So listen to them carefully and why not confine in them as well? Who knows, they might find a solution to your biggest issues. Rules. Even though rules can seem reassuring and helpful, I know you can think of better ways to stay credible. And when they turn out to be ineffective, it would probably be smarter to get rid of them. <clears throat> Humor, a precious tool that always makes the moment. You really mustn't forget this one. <laughs> Talking about feelings develops sensibility and adds on to my first thought about trust. Telling your children you love them is obviously very important to help their self-confidence grow. So do not just show them, tell them. Don't take education as a task or a duty you have to perform or excel. Just being yourself will take out the pressure on everyone. And at the same time, it will teach your children how to be just as their role model, you. You always do things better when you feel at ease and relaxed. You know that. So this is a letter I will want you to read again each time you will give birth, have a, have a problem with one of your kids, or just whenever you feel the need to. And hopefully, it will give you the willpower you always had and drive you to make the right choices. I know you will. 15 years old, Adele. Mm -hmm. So, what I suggest is that tonight, you too write your own letters to your future self. And I can promise you, you will be so proud and so pleased to be able to read them again in 10, 15, or 30 years. But just remember, there is no perfect recipe. You'll have to find your own. Thank you.